Well, this past week on the Bible Story Podcast, we looked at the second half of Philippians chapter 1. It was also Canadian Thanksgiving and Pastor Appreciation Sunday. So it was a busy weekend. Now, one of the verses that stuck out to me in Philippians chapter 1 was verse 27, which says, Above all, you must live as citizens of heaven, conducting yourselves in a manner worthy of the good news about Christ. Then whether I come and see you again or hear, only hear about you, I will know that you are standing together with one spirit and one purpose, fighting together for the faith, which is the good news. Now what stood out to me is that this, the motivation to live well in this world as a follower of Christ was the fact that we don't belong to this world, but we are citizens of heaven. Reflect on these questions with me. What does a citizen of heaven care about? What do you care about most? How does your behavior reflect these things? Like I said, this text was used in this week's Bible Story podcast. Now, Braden, Braden my co-host, and I are putting each episode on YouTube. Our hope is that we will encourage and challenge campers and others. Now, we want them to live differently than others. We hope that people will notice their love for God and, as a result, be curious and begin learning more. Here's how you can help. Join me in praying for all who listen to this podcast. Pray that they will grow in a relationship with Jesus and share their faith with those around them. The other thing you can do is share the podcast as it will help people discover who God is and help them grow closer to him. I will put a link in the description below of this week's episode so you can check it out. Now, this past Sunday was Appreciate, Pastor Appreciation Sunday, and I'm deeply grateful for my pastors, Natasha Westerhout and Snowy Noble. Uh, they work hard at leading and caring for their congregation and community. Now, even though these, uh, even though pastors have an extraordinary role as ministers, they are people, which means they have struggles and hardships like everyone else. So send your pastor a thank you and pray for them regularly. Uh, they need that. Well, it means the world to me that you would join me in praying for others. Uh, there's no ministry apart from Christ. Pray with urgency and expectation. I will chat with you next week.